Day Arizona. I'm your host Zeus Rodriguez with Education Matters Arizona. I'm so happy you're here. I'm proudly wearing my Wildcat Nation hat today. The tournament's about to start and we're looking good. But I'm even more excited to introduce you to my co-host today, Stephen Inman. He is currently the Executive Director of Open Sky Education and Eagle College Prep Charter Schools here in Arizona. How are you doing, Steve? Como estas? Bien, bien. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's get right into it. What is a public charter school? Well, a charter school is a public school, as you said. There are a lot of misconceptions out there, and many people don't think that a charter school is a public school simply because it's privately run and isn't overseen by an elected board. So, in other words, it's just another public option for their students' education. Indeed. Charters are another educational option that is a public option for families. Well, then why would, why would a parent or a family choose a charter, in your opinion? Well, I think there are a lot of reasons. One of the reasons that a family might choose is because their student learns differently. Not all students learn the same way. And charters have the ability to offer unique, specialized, or even niche-type offerings to best suit the individual needs of students. That's interesting. Can you give, give us a couple of examples of what those niches might be? Certainly. There are a lot of options out there. Uh, some of the most common are art schools for a student that may be interested in the dramatic arts or the fine arts or uh, including music. There are also those that offer science and technology as part of their niche mm -hmm. offering. There are classical education schools and there are schools like ours that focus on character formation. That's fantastic. So as a parent, I have to ask, are there any application fees, cost association, any type of entrance exams or anything like that? There are no entrance fees and there are no entrance examinations. Well, that's good to know. So let's get into the first steps. How would a parent go about joining and applying to a school like Eagle College Prep? Well, one of the first things that I think you should do when you apply to any school is take just one step back and make sure that you've done your research. And I know your organization helps families with those educational choices. That's exactly right. We want to remind you that at any time you can contact us through the comment section or by emailing us, by, and we can help you with these tours. We can help you navigate the system to find the school that's best for your child. So after you've chosen the school, you want to go to the, either the school's website or go to the school itself and you want to request an application. The application has very basic information such as the student's name and contact information that is required. Once you get the application, then you will need to go ahead and submit all of your documentation. So you talk about documentation. Is that lengthy? Is there a lot of documentation? I see over here you have your enrollment uh, list. Can you talk a little bit about exactly what a parent would need? There are three things that are required for enrollment. One is proof of student identity. The proof of a student identity is typically the use of a birth certificate, but you could also use a baptismal certificate or even an affidavit. The second is uh, the immunization record. The student needs to be able to have immunization records per state statute. And then lastly, we need to actually have proof that you live in the state of Arizona. Okay, this has been fantastic, Steve. If you want to learn more about which charter schools are available to you and like schools like Eagle College Prep, you can go to azcharters.org or you can even contact Steve through eagleprep.org. Thank you, Steve, so much. I really look forward to doing some school tours of some of the Eagle College Prep uh, schools. I hope you're going to allow us to do that. I look forward to it. All right, excellent. Have a good day, and thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.